Manifestation magic. How I successfully manifest in my life. Sharing with you exactly what I do and what works quickly. This is Sugar Mama TV. Welcome back to my channel. I am financial planner Canna Campbell and this is Sugar Mama TV. Today I want to talk to you about mindset and manifestation work and how incredibly powerful they are. See, I'm a financial planner, so my job is to build, create and design comprehensive, proactive, legal financial strategies to help people realistically build financial freedom and independence for themselves. It's something I'm incredibly passionate about and an absolute honor. So I look at the laws, the regulations, the fees, the caps, the returns, the risks and so forth. However, if there's one thing I know for sure, when you combine all of that practical, wise, intelligent stuff with a positive mindset and even just a little bit of manifestation work, the results are quite profound. The breakthroughs are bigger, the shifts are faster, and not only do I see these people achieve their financial goals and dreams faster, I quite often see them achieve bigger and better results. And it is actually quite incredible to watch. Now, I'm someone who applies both of these things in my life. I look at my financial strategy, I look at my financial goals, I look at the laws, the regulations, the tax benefits, the fees, the returns, pretty much everything. But I also approach my goals and dreams with a great mindset and I back myself up with a lot of great manifestation work. So today I want to talk to you about manifestation and mindset work and what I actually do because this is something I've been doing for a really long time but over the last year and couple of months I've really fine-tuned my strategy and the results have been even more profound, bigger and faster. So this is what I want to cover in this video and share with you right now. Now when it comes to this mindset and manifestation work, it actually all starts with your goals. You need to know what you actually want in your life so that you can then go ahead and manifest it and you can approach those goals with a great attitude and mindset. So they're all really positively linked together. Now when you approach this type of work, it is so important that you understand your goals. You have exciting, meaningful goals that make you feel excited. Because without this, you can't possibly know what you want to manifest. And that manifestation will not help you create a great mindset. So they are very much so positively correlated to each other and of equal importance. So when you look at this work, make sure you go in knowing you know exactly what you want out of life. And you have sat down and explored any limiting or self-sabotaging beliefs that might be subconsciously planted deep within you, holding you back from great success. Now, a powerful question that I always ask myself when I've looked at my goals and set them is I will ask myself, do I genuinely believe I can achieve these goals? Now, if my answer is yes, great, I proceed on ahead. But if my answer is, oh, I'm not sure, that is okay. I just need to sit and explore it and make sure I'm aware and remove any blocks in my life. Now, sometimes when I get a bit scared of a goal, that's okay because that's also a flip side of that is actual excitement. If I find that I do have some sort of self-limiting or self-sabotaging belief, I know to slightly change or alter or tweak that particular goal. Perhaps I'll make that goal a little bit smaller or I will extend the deadline to that goal so that I actually then feel I can genuinely achieve this goal or give it the best approach and success and mindset in making sure it can happen. Now another great question I ask myself around mindset to really make sure that I'm going in with a positive mindset and that is I ask myself how would I genuinely feel if I achieved all of those goals and dreams that I have written down? Pride, satisfaction, joy, bliss, freedom, empowerment. These should all be really positive things and that means I've set the right type of goals for me. It matched my value system, I feel genuinely excited and I really want to jump out of bed and start working on these goals as quickly as possible. That is when you know you have the right healthy mindset and you've set yourself the best goals for you. At the moment I've done this type of work, I do five things. The first thing is visualization. I will sit and imagine myself working on that goal. 
starting it, working on it, making progress, and then finally succeeding. I will do this in the first person, which means I will imagine myself in my body, typing on my computer, seeing my bank balance, seeing my share portfolio, seeing my dividends being deposited, seeing my mortgage coming down. And I will really appeal to all of the senses in the first person. So I will hear the tapping of my fingers on my computer. I will smell the cup of coffee next to me as I look at the screen. I will feel the glare of the screen across my face. I will feel the movement of people perhaps walking behind me. I will feel the sound of my voice as I call Tom to let him know how we are progressing with our goals. I will do this work in the first person and it only needs to be a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes. It literally can be as powerful as a flashback. I will also do this type of work in the third person and that is where I will watch myself commencing work on that goal, progressing with that goal, getting small little wins along the way with that goal as well as big ones of course, and then finally successfully achieving that goal. I will make sure I appeal again to all the senses around me and I really pay attention to what the feelings are inside me, which are the list of things I have answered in that previous question about how I would feel in achieving that goal. So I let the vibration of success run through my body. I feel the sensation of pride, fulfillment, bliss, empowerment, elevation even. So I almost feel like I have already achieved that goal. Success is imminent in my life and there is nothing in my way from stopping it. Then to back up this visualization imagery work, I will then go and do a vision board. Now in the past, I've used vision cards, which I've laminated and popped in my wallet or my diary so I could refer to it on a regular basis. But with vision boards, you can actually put them anywhere in your home, such as inside the kitchen cupboard, which was one of my personal favorites, or save it to your desktop. You just need to make sure that you can see it on a regular basis. Make sure you have fun with your vision board. Put lots of colors, patterns, symbols, keywords, interior style, numbers, even art. It doesn't matter as long as it evokes positive feelings within you that are all in positive correlation to your goals and dreams. And make sure you look at it on a regular basis, even if it's only for a couple of seconds a day. Really early in the morning so you can set your day up for success. And this really does help change and improve your mindset. So do visualization work in the first and third person and back it up with a vision board. Second thing I do is affirmation work. I am my own inner cheerleader. I am constantly talking to myself in a positive, kind, loving way about my goals. I will say to myself on a regular basis, I'm so proud of how far I have come. I'm so proud of what I have learned. I am so impressed by what I've managed to achieve and build so far. I'm excited about what the future holds. My passive income is growing every day. My mortgage is coming down. It feels great to watch my mortgage reduce. I love knowing that I'm going to beat the bank. I love knowing that I'm going to pay my home loan off in 10 years or less. I love the energy inspiration that runs through my body as I achieve my goals. I trust in the universe. I trust in the timing of the universe to support me and my financial journey. I know that I'm always safe, protected and guided. Love my new growing awareness and responsibility and respect around money and money decisions in my life. I love making wise, intelligent decisions for my financial well-being. I love that I'm inspiring other people along the way. These are all positive, kind things that I say to myself that are in positive correlation to the successful achievement of my goals and dreams that I want to see manifest in front of me. Become your own inner cheerleader. Now, if this is something you struggle with, make sure you go and listen to my affirmations, videos, and podcasts because they really help. And you guys even DM me and tell me what happens to you when you listen to these. The third thing I do is I feed my inspiration. Of course, there are times in my life where I feel flat, deflated, uh, lazy, tired, exhausted, run down, and even sometimes burnt out. Well, when that happens, I acknowledge it, I take a moment to pause, and then I use that time of pausing intelligently. I will feed myself the right type of inspiration to get me back on my feet again. I call this my triple O list. It's the things that I can go to that will quickly help me fill my cup and find my feet again and get me back on my path. So I will go and read a book that inspires me. I will listen to some uplifting music. I will listen to an educational and inspiring podcast. I will chat to a friend that has achieved that goal that I'm currently working on. I will do some journaling. I will look at my vision board. I will do some visualization work. I will go for a walk and spend some time amongst nature, jumping in the ocean, lying on the ground doing earthing work. 
feed myself the right type of inspiration to quickly get me back on my path again. And I always try and look for the lesson and the wisdom behind any setbacks and challenges so that I'm constantly growing and evolving all the time. The fourth thing I do with manifestation work is daily triggers. I ask myself, what is one simple thing that I can do today that is in positive alignment to that goal being achieved? So for example, say my mortgage. One of my goals is to pay off my mortgage as quickly as possible. I will look at that mortgage and say to myself, all right, what can I do? Now, I might be able to only transfer $1 to that mortgage, but you know what? I'll go and do it. It may sound really silly, $1 to a mortgage, but there's something really powerful in that trigger because I'm telling the universe that I am so incredibly serious, committed, and determined to achieve this goal that even something like $1 will matter to me and $1 will help make a difference. So you create this catalyst, this kinetic energy of motion and progress with your goal. And you're telling the universe, as I said, how incredibly serious you are. Now again, this does sound silly, but if you think about 365 small baby triggers across a year, what that can do in creating different results in your financial well-being, or perhaps bigger opportunities and bigger breakthroughs. And yes, it might only be $1 one day, but guess what? Tomorrow I might be able to transfer $20 to that mortgage, or maybe $200 to that mortgage, or $2,000 to that mortgage. You start to build momentum, and you're also creating progress. And as we always say, progress fuels success. And it feels really good and really successful to be able to step up and say, this is how serious I am about these goals. So look at daily triggers in positive alignment to your goals and enjoy that feeling. And then the fifth and final thing that I do for my manifestation work, and this is probably the one that I find the hardest with and probably the most contradictory is I surrender. I have prioritized my visualization work, my affirmations. I've fed myself with all the right inspiration on a consistent basis. I'm doing my daily triggers. I will then surrender and hand over my faith and trust in the universe. By no means does this mean I'm giving up on my goals and dreams, quite the contrary. I am simply surrendering and giving the universe permission to help serve me and guide me in achieving these goals successfully. It's about having a bit of faith and confidence, trusting in the timing of the universe and knowing that the universe will deliver what we want in a manner that is right for us, right for our loved ones and for the betterment of the community. Now I want to end this video with something very important around the concept of manifestation. Manifestation doesn't necessarily present itself successfully through bank balances or physical dollars. It can show up in many different ways. It can show up as friendships, business ideas, new business connections. It can be grants from the government. You can win money. It can be cash back. It can be refunds. It can be gifts. It can be experiences. It's quite incredible all the different things that manifestation can deliver in your life. But this is the most important thing that I want you to take away from this video. The more you see, the more you get. Now, as you start to see things manifest in your life, even if it is not in positive correlation to what is on your list of goals, it might actually be something that will help you support you in achieving your goals. So for the other day, I manifested a facial, a facial where I'm going to be able to relax, switch off and recharge my batteries, which will in turn give me greater energy and focus to work, go back and working on my goals. It is so important that you acknowledge these things, you say thank you, and you accept them with open arms because the more we see, the more we get. And the more we appreciate, the more they appreciate. So the universe can't understand the difference between discovering $1 versus winning $100,000. So next time you find some money in the street or something very small little blessing comes your way, make sure you stop, you say thank you, you acknowledge it and you accept it. And you will find that something very exciting quickly happens shortly after that because you have shown respect, gratitude and acceptance. You are letting the universe know what it is manifesting for you is safely within your arms and is supporting your other goals and dreams. And the universe will then serve you back by sending more your way. Trust me on this, I've had incredible miracles happen in my life. And I've helped other people as well. 
Now, if you're interested in this type of work, please know that I actually have a online workshop launching. You can actually do this type of work yourself using my program on your own online, or if you want, you can also include me as a one-on-one -on -one coaching service. I will link in the video description box below all the details so you can see exactly how this works and if it is right for you. And it is a great entry into the world of manifestation work. Very easy, practical steps that you can apply in a busy, overwhelming, hectic world where you will quickly and easily start to see and feel shifts and breakthroughs as you work on your goals successfully. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Thursday afternoon for more financial motivation, inspiration, and education. Ciao for now.